This message is brought to you by Jumpstart IT Academy. Get skilled in IT over a college degree. If you want any information about how to get launched in the IT industry, you can reach us at jumpstartitacademy.com. What I'd like to do today is go into a mindset moment. Okay, so if you've been on my Instagram page, which you'll notice, and you can find us at at symbol jumpstart it academy on instagram or you can follow me personally at symbol mr c johnson 007 and what you'll notice is that i have mindset moments on those uh, instagram uh, posts and what i seek to do with those mindset moments is to get people to understand that specializing in something isn't really difficult because all you have to do is apply yourself and you can pretty much accomplish it especially when you're talking about something that people have done over and over, like becoming an engineer, how many of those do we have, right? Uh, becoming a doctor, you know, there, there's, a, in other words, there's a process to all of this, but with the mindset moments, they're to fill in those gaps. So I do a, a lot of coaching calls, and what I find is that on these coaching calls, people have the wherewithal, they, they have the the intelligence, they have the, the uh, you know, a, a perfect situation where they can pretty much use the skills, talents, and gifts that, you know, I would say the creator have, get, has given them, and they can pretty much accomplish just about anything that they want. But what I notice is that what stops people are uh, mental blockages in, in most cases. And when I say mental blockage, I mean perspective, fear, uh, fear of the unknown, you know, sometimes people are afraid of success. I, I look at it like this. When you're afraid of becoming the person that you were intended to be, it's sort of like being scared of your shadow. It's you. So I believe most people, I, I, and I remember looking at a, a quote by Jay-Z, and he said, there's greatness in everybody. They just need to find it. And so when I tell you that there's greatness inside of you, um, this isn't, you know, some, well, they would say hogwash. This isn't, you know, I'm not just jibber jabbering. I'm not just talking and chattering or trying to, you know, uh, boast or, or excuse me, boost somebody up to a point where I'm just, you know, like they would say in the streets, gas. I'm not gassing nobody up. I'm telling you the honest truth that if you take time to figure out what's inside of you, then you'll be really amazed. And so what these mindset moments are to do is to get rid of those blockages, those mental blockages, those fears just to change the way you see your situation or scenario so that you would be calm and that you would be poised, that you would be able to withstand whatever challenges that are taking place. Now, we're talking about challenges internally when we talk about mental blockages. But what I want you to look at is there's challenges external. I mean, everybody has troubles, right? So how are we going to deal with those troubles? Are we going to look at it with the glass empty or excuse me, the glass half empty or half full, it's it's a matter of perspective. So that's a summary essentially of mindset moments. Let's get into this mindset moments. You'll notice I'm gonna look down a little bit because I wrote I've written down some notes. And you'll also notice right there there's a picture of ducks. So <laughs> look at the ducks. So the title of this mindset moment is gonna going to be Be the Duck. Okay. Now what do I mean when I say be the duck? Well, when I was, when my daughter was younger, I would take her to this park and we would feed ducks and the ducks would jump into the pond or, you know, walk into the pond. And I just sit there and study those ducks. And I noticed that, you know, you can, sometimes you can see through the water and see these ducks working feverishly. I mean, they are working at a very heavy pace just to get from one side of the pond to the other. And there was some great distance, about a hundred yards. But what I noticed is that when you looked at the face of the duck or when you looked at the duck while it was... You know, sort of, it looks like it was, it was gliding. It didn't look like it was putting in much effort. It's sort of like watching your favorite singer sing. Like, I know the late Whitney Houston, she would just sing, you know, one of her songs, I Will Always Love You. She would just sing it, and it would just sound so easy. Like, wow. I, you know, it just kind of makes you feel uh, like, well, I'm going to try to sing it like her. And then, you know, when I did it, I would fall right on my face. But she would look so under control as if it was just easy. And when I say be the duck, that's what I mean. Not that you're faking it when you're dealing with something that's difficult. But what you're doing is 
you're showing fortitude. You're you're showing strength in the in the face of adversity, and that's what it's about. Staying focused on your destination. Like the duck would be focused on going from one side of the pond to the other, and there would be all this work being done, and we would call that under the hood, right? All that work being done. At least you know programmers when they when they program you know certain software. They, they have all this convoluted or confusing code, but the user doesn't see all that. The user just sees a button here, a button there, a task, or excuse me, a, a, a text box here, a radio button there. So when we look at these ducks, when I say be the duck, I'm saying watch how calm the duck is even though the duck is working so hard and aggressively. Watch how the duck is focused on its destination. It's not focused on how difficult it is to get there. The duck is simply looking and giving the appearance that it's just gliding through, you know, this this task. So why be the duck? So I wrote down one, two, three, four reasons why you would want to be the duck. One is poise. As I was mentioning earlier, um, the duck is so calm that that sense of poise, a sense of uh, destiny. The duck is um, the pressure. You don't see, you see calmness under pressure. That's two, calmness under pressure. And also you see credibility. When you look at this duck and it's working very aggressively, but yet on the surface, you can just see like the duck is just confident it's gonna get from one side of the pond to the next, okay? Now, the next one would be professionalism. The duck doesn't look like it's new. Like our, the duck doesn't appear to give uh, you know, the, it doesn't look like the duck has done this once. The duck looks like I've done this plenty of times and I'm just going to go from one to this side to that side. Okay, so another question is, or I'll give you some real world scenarios. So I was working on a computer network and I had some workers come in, some of the workers that um, were some of the, the uh, technicians. They, they, they stormed into the room and they said, Chris, the, the network is down. And then I turned to them and I said, well, what segment of the network is now? And then they laughed and they giggled and they were just playing a joke. But the network really wasn't down. But what I want you to recognize is my response to it. I didn't, I didn't become, I didn't become uh, untangled by it. I was calm. I was calm under pressure. I was poised. I gave credibility. Just just when I say be the duck, I gave credibility. Well, the next one was there was professionalism. In other words, I treated it as a, a doctor in diagnosing a problem and isolating the problem so that the problem can be solved instead of approaching it with uh, erratic behavior, notions, gestures, physical or uh, verbal or nonverbal. I was pretty much calm and ready to meet the adversity with confidence and that's what being the duck is like in the real world so how can you be the duck well when you're facing whatever it is that you're facing and everybody is facing some sort of problems professionally or non-professionally what you can do is demonstrate some of the characteristics that i'm talking about here poise in other words just because something is happening outside externally doesn't mean that it should dictate how you are going to respond internally. So that's poise. Be calm. Calmness under pressure. What does calmness under pressure look like? It looks like this duck. Now, when I say be calm under pressure, I mean you're working towards solving the problem, but you're not giving the appearance as if this is so difficult, this is too arduous, I don't know if I can make it to the end of this problem and find a solution. So just be calm under pressure. D just def what I what I like to tell uh, students and and young professionals is define the problem. And when you define the problem, or you get to the end of whatever it is that you're worried about, and you extrapolate, meaning you work backwards, you know this is the problem, and then you can start working backwards to find a solution to that problem. So calmness under pressure, credibility. When you're displaying poise and calmness under pressure, it's going to give credibility. People are going to look at you as if this person can handle this task, this is not a big deal, and that's good. Because what that's going to do is it's going to give you uh, an air of confidence. And you want that confidence because when you're doing business, just like economies, it runs by trust. 
when people see you interacting professionally and in a professional context and they see that you are basically calm under pressure and you're poised, it's going to give them an assurance that this person can handle this task. So the last one is professionalism. It gives you, it gives people a sense of your professionalism. And there has to be something about you that gives people uh, access or insight into distinctive qualities where they they don't understand why they like you or like having you around or like you working on certain projects. But it should be something that is that causes them some sort of magnetism that they cannot describe or understand. So in the real estate world, what what we do is we'll have cookies baking when you're selling a property or something, an open house. And this, you know, if, if a lot of the houses are just like the one that you're selling, then you, you pretty much have a commodity. So what you have to do is you have to you have to take qualities or you have to develop qualities that would make people want to be attracted. OK, like the smell of baked cookies or the smell of cake or something that are even soft music or, or some type of music. And they don't know why they're drawn to that property. And the same is for people. So what you want to do is you want to have qualities that people don't know why they like you, but they do. And so that's what it's like when in terms of when I tell you be the duck. It's very important that you take this seriously because this will give you longevity. This will give you long-term credibility. This won't just give you opportunities. This will establish your reputation. Okay, so this is a mindset moment. And if you want additional information like this, you could check out my book, Communicate Not Communicate, Eight Keys for Leaders and Professionals to um, Communicate Effectively. It's Amazon. It's on Amazon. Uh, the, the link will be in the video below. Also, if you're a new professional or if you're an existing professional in the IT industry or you just need some type of guidance in understanding how the industry works, how to navigate the industry, where do I start, what should I do, go to jumpstartitacademy.com and check out the course Fast Track to IT. Or if you are seeking to get a college degree and you don't like spending a lot of time in the classroom, then check out my course Fast Track Through College and that will help you accelerate in terms of college. I graduated with a bachelor's from an accredited university in six months, and I show you how to do that. So go to jumpstartitacademy.com. Also, I have coaching sessions available, one-hour sessions or 30-minute sessions if you need some type of one-on-one -on -one direction in a, in, a, in a coaching or mentoring session. So this is a mindset moment. Be the duck. See you in the next video.